Wedding planners are for a dit. What is your best the bride must never know story? Groom here. I forgot the rings. Sent to groomsmen in a taxi. They were handed to the best man with less than a minute to go. At my best friend's wedding we were a little delayed getting introduced to the reception. She thinks it's because they were letting people get seated. Really her father-in-law was running around setting up their cupcakes because the catering company had to fire an employee on the spot for being high. IDK what drug. She still has no idea two years later. Dude if food service fired someone for drug use I don't want to know what did it. Groom here and my wife definitely knows but our friend who was supposed to do the legal side. Sign our marriage certificate. We had a separate pastor for the ceremony. RSVP'd for him and a girlfriend but then stopped responding to messages as the wedding got close and didn't show. Yes he is still alive. Luckily my groomsman happened to also be ordained and happily signed our marriage certificate. Also, the cake people decided the best way to hold together our three tier cake was through using bendy straws instead of dowel rods as supports in the cake. Bendy straws. This wasn't even a small podunk operation. It was a local chain company that many people have used and recommended. The cake slid off and they had already left the venue so our wonderful catering company and venue staff did their best to put it back together and used extra roses to hide the damage. After the wedding my wife called the cake company to complain and the manager was snarky saying that using bendy straws was normal and part of their policy and said the best he could do was offer like $50 and a free anniversary cake which may have been fine but due to his attitude was not. Finally he huffily snarked out mom what do you want me to do to my wife over the phone. So since his attitude didn't change we put in a request to talk to the owner. The next day the owner calls and lo and behold is very gracious. States that in fact, no, it isn't their policy to use bendy straws and offers a full refund as well as reassures us that the issue will be dealt with with that huffy franchise manager. I still can't get over that. Bendy straws. It's in the name that they bend. I use straws to hold cakes together all the time, but they're the thick bubble tea kind. They're really strong and easy to cut on sight, and I've never seen them fail. That being said, they don't bend. Bride here. At my wedding my maid of honor was responsible for holding my husband's wedding ring until we exchanged them in the ceremony, and the best man was holding mine. I was super distracted goofing around with my dad getting ready to walk up the aisle and didn't think to double check with with Ma before we got the show on the road. During the ceremony I'm definitely paying all my attention on my husband and my grandfather, who was officiating the ceremony, and not on my Ma or bridesmaids. So I didn't even notice when my husband's aunt popped up behind me and slipped the ring to my Ma. Ma played it off really well. And I had no clue she'd forgotten the ring in the room we used to get dressed and ready. Nobody said a word, and would have gotten away with me never knowing had my aunt not been recording the ceremony for me. I noticed about a week later when my aunt posted the video to Facebook that his aunt popped up on the pulpit with everyone. I asked my sister, a bridesmaid, what happened and she lost it laughing. My poor ma felt horrible she'd forgotten about the ring. But my husband's aunt saved the day when my sister and mom managed to wordlessly communicate what had happened and she found the ring and got it to us in like 20 seconds. Wordlessly communicate I'm imagining our ma doing this standing next to you on the pulpit. I was the bride. When the wedding planner dropped the top two tears of my cake and didn't say anything to me then had the catering department fix it by putting flowers all over the first tier to hide what happened. My sister-in-law thought I knew because after they dropped it, one of them came upstairs where I was getting ready and when they went back down she said, it's okay, we have to try to fix it. No one ever came to me. The only reason I knew is that after the wedding she told me they did a nice job of fixing it even though she didn't think it could be fixed. I knew there was something different with the cake but it looked nice so I was okay with that. After hearing it, I was heated but all in all, I couldn't even tell. Nice one planner. Not a wedding planner, but the wedding planner for one of my good friend's wedding went above and beyond. Friend's mother was a horrid woman, very self-centered, narcissistic. The way you feel about Umbridge the first minute into the HP movie, you feel that way in 2 seconds meeting her. She was banned by friend and uninvited a week before the big day. The final straw being her mother was going to wear a wedding dress, not a white dress which is bad enough. 
number, actual wedding gown, to her daughter's wedding. It was a heck of a week doing everything we could all do to help friend and her soon to be husband relax, enjoy and get that witch out of their heads. Day of wedding, it's beautiful, in a beautiful church, everything is fantastic. The wedding planner, he was like some magical fairy godfather, just guiding and leading and managing one transition into another flawlessly. If there were hiccups, nobody knew or saw it. He even had set up professional child care in the church's children room for those there with young ones. The vows ceremony flowed into the reception room. Then the horrid beast showed up, stomping up the hallway, wearing that dress looking like tore up Colfax H. She didn't even make it to the reception hallway. The wedding planner jumped her like a secret service agent. I don't even know where he came out of. One moment, crazy lady, next wedding planner silent ninja strike. Hand over her mouth and dragged her out so fast that us maids and the groom's men didn't have time to even gasp. Bride and groom never found out she got in. They think she was arrested in the church's lot. She probably shouldn't have done what she did having out of state warrants out for her. And they didn't find out even that much till after their month long honeymoon. Which was probably due to even the rest of friend's family wanting nothing to do with her mother. All of us have countenued to recommend him or use his business for own events back in CO since then. He looked back crap crazy in the eyes, took it on like a badass and then went about the rest of the day like a pro Disney cast member. I wish this was on video. Obligatory not a wedding planner story. When my wife and I got married we chose a deep winter date. We had a friend make up all the buttonholes and bouquets and picked them up the day before the wedding as we were getting married in another town. My wife's bouquet was quite large and was in a bucket of water to keep it fresh. We stayed, in separate rooms obviously, in a small hotel in the town and I left the flowers in the car to ensure they stayed as fresh as possible. Unbeknownst to me at the time, that night was going to be the coldest of the year and plummet to about minus 12 C. The following morning, my wife had got up early with her party and already gone to the venue to get ready. I got up and got ready then headed out to the car to drop the necessary flowers off with my father-in-law at the wedding venue before heading to the church. Got to the car. The bucket with her bouquet had frozen solid. I headed up to the venue and got her dad out. Like a champ. He took over and got the wedding planner to find every hair dryer in the place to melt the ice so the bouquet could be used. I left him to it and when my wife turned up at the church she looked amazing. And was carrying an ice free, wonderful bouquet. She had no idea there was any problems at all. At my stepsister's wedding, her grandfather had a mild stroke right in the middle of the vows. He's pretty loud and a touch belligerent anyways. But it became much more obvious something wasn't right as we were having the formal photos done. With barely a word, the wedding planner booked a taxi for my parents to take him to the hospital nearby to have him checked over quickly, promising to keep an eye on us kids. It came to light that it was a little more serious than they'd thought and that they wanted him to be admitted to the hospital near where we lived, a 4 hour drive away. Cue him phoning about 10 car rental places, the Saturday before Christmas no less to have a car delivered to them at the hospital so they could leave immediately, whilst speaking to the hotel to have their bags packed up. He then delivered them to us and waited for us to finish dinner and toast the happy couple before driving us to the train station himself and booking us train tickets back home, even slipping us a tenner from his own pocket for the taxi to our house at the other end. The whole time he was keeping up to date with my parents so he could update my stepsister from worrying too much. I can only imagine how out her mind with worry she would have been without him telling her he was okay. Gramps ended up being just fine, and even jokes that it was the only way of getting out of giving a speech. The whole situation was dealt with with such professionalism and care, and made what could have been a nightmare so much less stressful that he went on to plan several other family and friends weddings on the back of that story alone. The girls in the family have made it tradition to wear my mom's wedding dress for their weddings. It's a beautiful mid-1960s dress w tons of pearls and lace and things, and a crazy long train. It had been in a cedar chest for about 15 years since its last use and needed to be restored. Due to last minute errors, my niece was to pick it up the morning before the wedding. As a gift to her, I paid for the restoration and the restitching and sizing. Whatever it's all called. She let me go with her to see it sized and fitted and it's one of my favorite memories. 
I love that girl so much. I had concerns about how flippant and lackadaisical the dressmaker had been during the whole evolution. Way too many no problems and of course and don't worry to make me feel like she knew what she was really doing. She finished two days early. Sweet. I called her and paid, then asked her to hang on to it since I wanted it in safekeeping, not in my car or house. I got there the next day, the day before the wedding and she didn't have it. She made a mistake and shipped it to St. Louis from Richmond VA two days before. After a few minutes of finding out where it went and calling the recipient, another bride waiting for a dress, I checked Google Maps and got on the road. Then and there, less than 30 hours until the wedding, I called my sister, mother of the bride, and told her what was happening and forbade her from telling my niece. There was a backup wedding dress so it wasn't a total catastrophe, but tradition is tradition. 26 straight hours of driving later, the dress was getting unwrapped and my niece was putting it on for the big day. It was perfect and looked amazing on her. Then the group photo of all the other ladies who had worn it was taken. My niece never knew until months after the wedding when the dressmaker called her to apologize for the mix up. Dang that daffy dressmaker for doing that. My niece is expecting a baby soon and I'm so stoked. I'll go the extra mile for her too if needed. P.S. I'm an uncle. Soon to be grand uncle. I'm so excited. Also the dress is group photo since people have asked. So far it's my mom, both sisters, my nephew's wife, and two of my nieces. Also at the reception they put out individual photos of the brides on the wedding day to show the evolution of the dress. I can't even look at those photos anymore. They make me cry so fast these days. That old black and white photo of my mom looking all pretty on her wedding day, then my sisters and so on. So many feelings. I can't even take it. I do worry the dress shouldn't be cut up anymore. It's not that different from the original but I fear it's becoming Theseus dress. The train is original though and I had the dressmaker add a thick thick silk bottom so it should last a few more weddings. I hope one day my wife and daughters can wear it if they want to. I'll go the extra mile for her too if needed. More like 2670 equals 1820 miles holy crap that's amazing. Not the wedding planner, but maid of honor. The bride's grandfather wasn't there for the ceremony. He got lost after insisting he knew the way and didn't need to follow anyone from the hotel and didn't make it in time. He was there for the reception however and the bride didn't notice his absence in the audience during the vows. My wife's grandfather fell out of his chair after dinner during our wedding reception. And some drunk idiot yelled that he was having a heart attack. Freaked my wife right out. Grandpa was just drunk. I wish there were things my wedding planner had kept from me. Instead she, heavily, sampled the mixed drinks for the reception pre-wedding and called my mother out for payment while we were taking family photos. But my mom's wedding planner hid the fact the I dropped the top tear of her wedding cake when she and my dad got hitched. I was 7 and they thought me carrying it was a good idea. I wasn't a planner, but was a DJ. My partner and I had set up the equipment and done our tests. When the wedding party and guests arrived, we did our final mic checks to make sure everything would be ready for the first dance. When we checked the wireless mic, I noticed there was a lot of static in it so I asked my partner to walk around the venue while talking into the mic to see if I could get any idea what was going on. I put the microphone into queue and put on a pair of headphones to listen as he walked around. He started by saying, test, 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 then he would walk by a guy and go, testicle, 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 then by a woman and go, breast, breast, breast. Pretty soon, he's walking around the banquet hall saying, testicle, testicle, breast, testicle, breast, breast. He does this around the entire perimeter of the facility until he gets back to me. When he got back, I told him that there was too much static and we would just need to switch to the wired mic. Once we got things switched over, I decided to work on the wireless a little more so I turned off the transmitter and just listened to the static from the receiver. After 30 seconds or so, I started to pick out voices and thought to myself, oh crap I started looking around and, sure enough, there's the videographer talking to his partner and their mouths match up with the voices I'm hearing. Turns out his wireless mic was on the same frequency as ours so my partner possibly caused, breast, breast, testicle, testicle to be recorded on this couple's tape of their cherished memories. 
There are a ton of great stories here, but this is the first one that made me laugh out loud. I keep rereading it and it's hilarious every time. Picturing the couple's faces when they watch their video. Friends of friends got a call the night before the wedding from an invited guest could he bring his new girlfriend okay sure adjusted plans, rearranged tables and ordered another place at a table. At wedding day those two didn't show up. Wedding videographer. One time my drive just crapped out. It was early in my business and I had zero software recovery setups. The bride's final wedding video and only copy of the raw footage was on there, ready to be sent in final delivery via USB. I was in shambles. The only project file was there. The only copy of the raw footage. The only copy of the final video was there. But, I did have an unwatermarked version that I'd uploaded to them as a sneak peek. Thank you 4K YouTube downloaded. I'm sure my mother wished this could've applied to them. When my parents got married, my dad had to call her while she was having her hair done to break the news to her that the demolitions in the building beside the reception venue had gone horribly wrong. They sent some debris towards the venue and right through a wall. My mother burst into tears on the spot. Wedding was saved by my grandparents next door neighbors, who went frick it, party at our place and ordered a shitton of pizza for everyone. I didn't have a wedding planner, but my family whole family kept me from finding out about a huge issue. A quick bit of background. My wedding was a little rough from the start. We were on a shoestring budget. 14k start to finish including all incidentals in an area where 30k is considered a cheap wedding. And things were not always going well. The photographer didn't commit until a week before the wedding and on the day off, the bus carrying my husband, stepdaughter, groomsmen and bridesmaids crashed into the venue. No one was hurt and my mom is a paramedic. More than one stroke two of my guests are nurses, first responders and paramedics. We were covered. Just before I'm set to walk down the aisle, my dad says to me just so you know, your grandma was feeling a little sick so she had to stay home today, she was 94, it made total sense to me, one of my cousins was missing from the wedding, but they said she took my grandma to the doctor, the grandma can't drive, makes sense, it wasn't until 2 days later when I was in NYC with our out of state out of country guests that I see a post from my cousin with a picture of the view from grandma's hospital room. She'd had a major heart attack the night before my wedding, had surgery the day of or after, can't remember which, and all I was told was she was feeling a little sick because no one wanted me sad on my wedding day. Aunts, uncles, cousins were all there to celebrate with me, they all knew you're talking almost 40 plus people, and they all kept it a secret. That's really sweet and must have taken incredible willpower on their part. I hope she was okay. Former wedding planner here, I managed a 5 star hotels event department and we had high end clients that would spend up to and far over a minimum of $150,000 for a single day at our property. Even under the most detailed oriented people things fall through the cracks. The reality is that most brides, on the day, are somewhat distracted. A lot of issues that would be gargantuan the day before come across as trivial, unless it is vital to something the bride will see or hear. Don't say a freaking word. She doesn't need to know that the name card Saint Table 15 are wrong. Up to and far over a minimum of X. This is like a maths teacher had a stroke. People invited themselves last minute to the wedding and had to find them seats. They texted my husband, the groom, at 7am the day of. Not a wedding planner. But one of the groomsmen absolutely had to work that day and didn't make it to the wedding till like 15 minutes beforehand. Oh yeah, he was the one to walk her down the aisle too. So it was an important thing. Well my husband told me 3 days before our wedding the venue forgot us. Should not have happened. My entire ability to breath disappeared for a few minutes. Working at a hotel. The concierge gave away the wrong wedding cake to a couple from the day before. I was sent 60 miles with the day of the wedding to collect a vegan cake in my old VW Polo. Highlights from the day. Lying to the bride and groom that their cake was in a fridge and a chef had gone home with the keys. Driving with yesterday's wedding cake buckled up on my passenger's seat. Overtaking a police van on the motorway. Only slightly speeding but not getting pulled over, airborne over the speed bumps in the hotel's mile-long driveway, the big reveal in front of the guests, 
After driving back with the right cake two hours late we unpacked it without checking first. Blamed the smudged icing on the original delivery as it came from London by car to Scottish countryside. They loved their smudged vegan cake and had a beautiful wedding. I was gifted a few bottles of wine that I still have. Dozens of weddings but that was the scariest day in the business. Mission impossible the cake job. Not a wedding planner, but my, now ex, husband showed up an hour and a half late to our wedding. Turns out the best man had gotten so drunk he passed out in a bar and they couldn't find him. I didn't find out until we got the wedding photos back weeks later. Bride and groom choose to do a sand combining thing in their ceremony. Two different colors of sand are poured from separate containers into one container by bride and groom. Representing unity, etc. They were going to leave for their honeymoon immediately after the ceremony, and arranged for us to hold on to all their gifts and such, including the sand vase, until they returned. Well, it got knocked over in our house and shattered and sand went everywhere. We quickly bought all the same stuff from where they'd gotten it. My mother-in-law was their wedding coordinator, so she knew exactly what to get and where to get it. Looked at photos taken from the ceremony, and duplicated the unity sand as best we could. We never told them that their unity sand was actually destroyed and ray done by us. Anyway, three years later they weren't doing well, and the wife killed the groom and then herself. I guess it was the sand. Just kidding. They're doing great and have four kids. Jesus don't do that to me. I was a wedding planner professionally for two years and stopped. But recently my sister asked that I plan coordinate her wedding since I had the experience. I hit it off really well with her now husband's brother. We slept together at the after party. And we're both freaking out that my sister and his brother are gonna find out. If so, the holidays should be interesting. Side note, is that wit? Is he my brother-in-law? Or just my brother-in-law's brother? brother-in-law's brother. Look back 50-60 years and you'll notice that it was quite common for two brother to marry two sister. So these type of relationships are not that uncommon. Especially in small towns. One of the bride's guests flipped out in one of those so when are we getting married arguments with her boyfriend at the venue. She left the wedding. Went to his parents home where their daughter was staying. Took her daughter out of her grandmother's lap while expounding upon their her child's grandparents, floors the entire time before driving away, presumably in the direction of home on the other side of the state. Eventually we were able to convince her to stay at a hotel and bring the daughter back to her grandparents the next day. The bride was quite close with the boyfriend of this madwoman and would absolutely have been distraught by these events. I wish I could say the couple separated after this, but as I work their wedding too I just chuck it up to the, evidently, masochistic husband. Ladies, don't pick that battle. If you genuinely have to ask on such selfish and unfair terms, someone else's wedding, and can't wait to fight till you get home, then you have other problems that are more important than the wedding you are seeking. I hate the current trend in TV where there'll be one marriage, and another character takes the opportunity to propose, and they then, get married right then and there because hey everyone's together and the officiator is right there. Like wow. Frick you guys. I wanna see them get a bill for half the cost of the wedding. Not wedding planner. But, friend gets married, maid of honor, not me, forgets to order the bouquet, which is made of silk flowers and it is a unique piece which takes about 2 or 3 weeks to be handcrafted. So, the day of the wedding the maid is searching desperately for the aforementioned piece. Almost mission impossible. She finds it. It was from a cancelled wedding that would happen that very day. I'd love to know the statistical chances of that. Getting married a week from Saturday. I shouldn't be reading this crap at 3am. Something is going to go wrong but no one is going to know but you or whoever doesn't tell you. But the best thing is that you're going to be married and it's going to be wonderful. The bride pulled me aside during rehearsal to tell me the groom's brother, also the best man, was planning to find a girl on Tinder as his date. She was less than thrilled about all of this as apparently he doesn't have a great track record. He found someone and my bride was stressing. We made it through ceremony and cocktail hour without incident. Dinner was going great and we're about to do toasts when I can't find the brother anywhere. Lo and behold, the girl is gone too. I have the DJ stall a bit and recruit some people to go find them. 
I walk into the bathroom and under a stall I see guys shoes with a girl squatting down between them. Little shoots. So I pretend to be on the phone and say you're we're about to do toasts. I just have to find the best man then I'll be right there. I heard an oh crap as I walked out and he was in giving his toast 5 minutes later. As everyone is out dancing and having a grand old time one of the resort staff pulls me aside and says there's a situation. I go talk with them and they've also snagged my groom. Come to find out brother and tinder girl have been removed from the property because they were found in a less than discreet spot, with his head up a dress going down on her. Groom looks at me and all he says is, she can't know. So my sweet bride not only didn't find out that Bill was getting head in a bathroom stall 5 minutes before the speech, but she also doesn't know he was kicked out for going down on the class act tinder girl he found. Thank god for great staff and vendors who are flexible. Not a wedding planner, didn't have a wedding planner, but was a bride who didn't find out about a mishap until way I, I, I later. My wedding was phenomenal, beautiful, elegant, and relatively inexpensive. My maid of honor was one of my best friends who flew over to the US from the UK for our second meeting ever. We'd been online friends for about 10 years prior. At one point about halfway through the reception, I noticed my younger sister was missing. And then, moments later, I noticed one of my friends, a girl she'd had her eye on, was also missing. At that point I'd already mentioned to my mom that my sister was missing, and I casually said, oh, friend, is missing too. Huh. After realizing the implications, I added, like, maybe they're in the bathroom, but my mom began hunting them down. My husband and I sat back at our sweetheart table and laughed it off and that was that. Apparently, my maid of honor found my sister and my friend. Uh, getting better acquainted in the bridal suite. This was her second or third time meeting either of them. But she yelled at them both to get back down to the wedding. As it was my day and they could screw around on their own time. They came back down looking like they'd just been spoken to by the principal and I knew something had happened. But it wasn't until 2 years after the wedding that I found out what. She was a spectacular maid of honor. And took her job very seriously. If you are new to the channel. You can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then. Check another video. for now.